Hello and welcome to today's video in which we're going to look again at some basics at an OR circuit and looking at OR circuits in four different languages. Um, you can see in LAD, in FBD, in STL and in SCL and therefore I have one button in my left hand, right? It's this one here. If I press it, it's true. And one button in my right hand. If I press it, it's true. It's the line above there, right? Right now it's the left hand, but yeah, this one. So I've got those two buttons. If any of those buttons is pressed, all of the other four should be true, right? They should become active. It's an or. It's either or. It, I can press any. <clears throat> Therefore, let's look at the first language, which is LAD, the ladder diagram, or simply ladder. Uh, therefore, we have this line here, right? And on top, I can put a normally open contact and an output. This would already result if I now take one of those inputs, let's say left hand, and I have this by this tests LAD, right? This will already result if I press the one in the left hand, current can flow to this, right? What I also want is a parallel circuit. So not just my left hand, but also my right hand. So if any of those is true, therefore we have two branches on top of each other so that the current could flow anyway. Therefore, I have to select where do I want to open a circuit and it's a little bit here on the left, of course, here. I could also press on the far left, but I always, that's mine, I just always press directly there where I want it. And then we have open branch, Boop. there we have it, a second branch. Here I want another normally open contact and now I can drag and drop this little line. I can either press on the close branch or I can drag and drop the little line here and I have my right hand here. So how does that work now? <clears throat> How does that work? I download and I go online. I have my left hand and I have my right hand. You can imagine ladder diagram as an electric circuit. So if I press my left hand, you see left hand closes, current can flow through that branch. If I press my right hand, we have the same scenario. But of course, we have the lower branch that is active. Uh, so if I press it, you can see current is flowing through the green line and test LED is active. If I press both, current will still flow, right? So if I press any or both, it will go through. That's an OR circuit, right? And I like LED uh, or ladder or ladder diagram because you can really see where the information is flowing, like it's currents, pretty simple. Second language, uh, FBD, function block diagram, right? function block diagram. There we have on top here a greater equal one, indicating it's an OR circuit. Greater equal one means, hey, if more or exactly one input is active, then please turn on the output. I also want on the output side here an assignment because we need to activate something. Uh, here, of course, want my test. FBD and on my inputs I want right hand and left hand. So let's see and download this. A lot of people like this language that I know but I'd, I'm not such a fan of it because I can't see the flow so good anymore. Well it's still pretty decent with smaller circuits but yeah it's just a type of taste. If I press the right hand you see the OR turns green, letting current flow through, which right here you can see really as current, but as information, also in the other, it's not current, it's information. Uh, if I press the left hand, you see the block also turns true, has an output. If I press both, it stays true, right? An OR circuit in a function block a diagram. Let's go to the next language, to the statement list. Statement list, as you see, is just this visual, uh, not a visual representation, but the text representation. And there we have for OR circuits, I put an O and I just say right hand because that's my variable. And I can another O and I say left hand, uh, which is then my left hand, right? And we see those two are connected in an O fashion. First, this is evaluated. It will have a result giving to this one. The result of this one will be um, checked with this one in an OR fashion and then put to an output here to this equal sign. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll test, right? I call those tests, STL. So let's download. Let's say yes. Here we go. <coughs> and I have my right hand. If I press my right hand, you see it's not my left hand, but still, you see the value of my right hand is one. 
the result of an OR operation, if it has a one, is a one. We're giving that to the next. We have an OR, even though the value of this one is not true, is a zero, the value of the logic operation in before was already one. An OR operation pushes a one through. We have a one in the result. That's how we do it. Pretty simple stuff. <clears throat> if I want an, uh, yeah. Good. A statement list. Next language, SCL, structured control language. Also pretty simple. Um, we have the following. I have on top here my favorites. I can put an if condition in here. If a condition is true, of course, we want an or condition, right? We want an or condition. And on the left side of the or condition, we want something on the right side. Make a guess, of course. Oh, on the left, we want the left hand. And on the right, we want the right hand. Right? So those are our conditions. If, though, if this is true or this is true, then please do whatever is here. And here we will put our um, results, our... What did I call those? Test, right? Test SCL, double point or colon, equal sign. This means uh, this is an assignment uh, and true. Right. Good, got that. Pretty easy if you ask me. And let me make that a little bigger. Let me push that a little bit around. Let me zoom out a little bit. Here we go. A little bit more, a little bit less. Here we go. Zack. Let's download. Let's save and let's run this thing. And you see, <coughs> oh, I have to activate this. The result of this operation, if left hand is pressed, right? Or right hand is pressed, this one here, right? Doesn't matter any of those. The result of the operation will be true, right? And we will go into this branch here, into this operation and doing that. Right, turning it on. Good. That's SCL, uh, an or an SCL. So if you want to add more, right? If you need to add more operations, you can always just say here another or, and then another uh, um, and or test uh, test LED. You can always put more just by putting more and more on there in the statement list. You can just add another line and with an or and then another variable next to it. Pretty simple. In the letter diagram, you will have to make another branch, right? Another branch. Here we go. And in the function block diagram, you don't have to create another block here. You always have this little uh, yellow star as i always call it the yellow, little yellow star if you press on it you will have another input another input you see we can add quite many there okay so much for the basics of um those four languages with the or circuit uh, yeah, if you have any questions to it, just leave a comment. If this was too basic for you, also leave a comment yelling at me why I'm doing basic stuff. Um, I try to help everyone. <laughs> yeah, uh, if you want more content, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.